Oh, don't worry. Two months after my manic episode, I held myself accountable for my behavior too, which is why I attempted suicide. Because bipolar people's highest rate of suicide is directly after a manic episode because they have to deal with the shame and guilt of what they did during their episode. And those statistics do not factor in when you have millions of people making dehumanizing, unacceptable comments like this that increase the stigma around bipolar disorder, which increases suicide rates. People said the exact same thing to me too. Jessica, when are you going to make an apology video and stop running for prime minister? Probably after. Probably after I stop running for fucking prime minister. People love to say this shit about bipolar people. They always are bipolar when they come out with a project. Why the fuck do you think that is? That proves you have no idea what a manic episode is. You are at peak cre creativity, peak productivity, peak energy levels. You are thriving. You are coming up with a billion business ideas. That is the symptom. That's what a manic episode is. If you are doing a creative project and you start out in a stable state and then you're in a high stress situation where you're in a creative product project and you need to like use the maximum capacity of your brain, that's when a bipolar person's brain goes past those normal levels and goes fucking full tilt. And it's not going to stop until your life around you calms down or you die. So... Which of those would you prefer? I still haven't apologized for some of the things I did during my manic episode publicly on the internet. Sure, I apologize to people in my personal life, but there's videos that people want me to apologize for. I've never seen them and I will not watch them because it's traumatizing for me. Some of the videos that I did see, those were the ones playing on repeat in my head while I tried to unalive myself. I didn't need the internet to hold me accountable. My brain was doing that all on its own. Because the whole time prior to that, I was not cognitively capable of reflecting on my behavior. And now I have to make up for all of that right now, which is why I cannot handle that stress and I'm attempting to unalive myself. But people don't think about that. They don't think about empathy. They perpetuate the stigma and oppression and discrimination of people with mental illnesses like bipolar disorder and increase their suicide rates because you don't understand it. You basically right here are explaining that you don't understand it. So rather than you making public statements that are directly harmful to our community, research it and then be quiet and don't say this shit publicly. This is not your situation to talk about. You don't get a say in this. It has nothing to do with you.